Okay, so let's just get an idea of Bethany's uh, content. This one's called This May Be Cheesy. Oh, this was posted one hour ago. So this is as recent as you possibly can be. Shocked. If you're curious about plant-based, I would say the Whole Foods 365 plant-based cheddar style cheese alternative. Don't get mad. Let's pretend that you have a dairy intolerance or something. Okay, I don't care. Let's watch one of the one of the uh, makeup ones. She also does a lot of um, food stuff, and obviously she's got skinny girl. But she did go to culinary school. But I I don't believe she actually was a professional chef ever. And there was actually a clip that I watched from the um, Housewives where someone called her a cook, and she said, "No, I'm a chef." And she's like, "Well, what's the difference between the two? And Bethany's like, "Well, I'm I'm a, I was trained in culinary school, and I'm a professional." It's like, "Well, you don't work in a." in a restaurant right so you're a cook and they went back and forth so there was some distinction as to whether she's really a chef or not um let's go i need your help natural deodorant is an area where you want to do the right thing but you also yeah unfiltered no do makeup the right thing for in your sure life so i'm on the fence about certain natural deodorants because they really have to work show me one that does natural deodorant is an okay great very exciting. All right, here we go. Here's a tutorial. I don't think we change. This is her revolutionizing the industry. I don't think we change. She's like, I think we do. This is in beauty. It's clean, effective, vegan, cruelty-free. I've had a hard time finding that information, which may indicate that something isn't clean and cruelty-free. And because the packaging is so cute, sometimes if it's really cute packaging, I think it's for kids and that it's not a clean beauty brand because it's fun. Some of those clean beauty brands have very natural packaging and then sometimes non-clean beauty brands have very natural packaging so you think it's clean. Hydrating gel cleanser. Does not have a significant scent. It has that texture that's gel and hydrating and gives a little bit of tack because it's gonna be good for when you get into your priming step. Not too lathery, which means not chemically. That's a positive so far. Face glaze, a skin barrier This is revolutionary. Veil. That's a word I like. This is good. Okay, I'm bored. Um, okay, I want to hear her talking shit about Kim Kardashian. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, man, look. I peed my pants. That's a Rachel Hollis crossover as well. Downtown Julie Brown. <laughs> what is this? What is it? What is it? What is it? I like nothing. I want nothing. I want, what is this? <laughs> this is TheraBody TheraFace Pro. There's so many of these products. This is the one. This, this is, is TheraBody. Yeah. How much is, oh my God. <gasps> this I'll do every day. How much is this? Okay, so it's 400 bucks. Okay. However, it has a bunch of like attachments. So you can do micro Oh, I bet it does. It <laughs> Downtown Julie Brown. <laughs> Humble queen. The entire room was crying. But see, okay, look at this comment. TikTok Bethany is my absolute favorite yet. You're hysterical. You're gassing these people up. These celebrity people don't don't need your compliment. <laughs> they need to be humbled immediately. Um, okay, so let me find... That's that's like a little, just a random selection of, of what you can expect. She's got a million followers I, I just don't find the super appeal of of her necessarily like that is anyone i've ever seen that's doing a beauty review seems to be in line with i don't think she's any better than i don't think she's revolutionized anything um but let's talk let's hear her talk about kim kardashian and the kardashians for a second uh because this is where more hypocrisy i believe starts not a start it just continues uh, actually, let's do the Meghan Markle one first. Some people said this was racist. I don't, I don't know. She's very... I don't know if that's true. I'm not the one. I, obviously, I'm white. I don't know. You know, I'm not the one to speak is, if something is racist or not. Um, but that was an accusation that a lot of people were saying online in response to Bethany talking about Meghan Markle. She's very much like a housewife in that she can't stop talking about the very thing that she wants to be irrelevant. She wants to sort of like eradicate and erase the royal family. 
Bethany Frankel slamming Meghan Markle for acting more housewife than HRH. Okay, another comment just about news in general. Why? Why are we doing this accent? Why are we doing this like transatlantic bullshit news voice in 2022? This is something I did not do well in school. Um, in college, they were like, you need to practice your speaking on camera, you know, voice. And I struggled so much because I'm like, this sounds idiotic. It sounds like I have a problem. <laughs> like the way that that was just delivered. Bethany Frankel thinks that this person's opinion is really fucking stupid. <laughs> like, why do we do that? Why do we allow this? Stop it. So you want to be a voice for change, a woman for female empowerment. So do that. So do that in the future. Why do we keep in these nuanced, subtle ways, keep referencing things that happened in the past? It all goes down on the latest episode of Just Be with Bethany Frankel. The entrepreneur Bethany calls Frankel. Megan out for continuing to rehash her experience in the royal family after stepping down as a senior member in 2020. I think it's the case that Megan certainly feels that she was, um, silenced to a degree she she has spoken about um being able to use her voice now which i think suggests that as a member of as a working member of the royal family and um, she felt at times restricted it's a topic meg discussed on the premiere of her new podcast archetypes i don't ever remember personally feeling the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until i started dating my now husband and um Apparently, ambition is a terrible, terrible thing. And again on the second episode. If there's any time the in my life that's been more focused on my race, it's only once I started dating my husband. Then I started Obviously. to understand what it was like to be treated like a black woman because up until then I had been treated like a mixed woman. Bethany's big issue? She thinks it's in the way Meghan speaks. I think people don't like Meghan Markle because I think she talks down to other people. I think she's sanctimonious. And I think there's this subtext of elevation. She's up there, we're down here. And Bethany says, Isn't that hypocritical as fuck? Once again, like she's almost trying to mislead people that are dumb, I guess, or, or aren't willing to take the time to look for five seconds and go, okay, is what she's saying? truthful or not, because she's going to call the Kardashians out and say they're pushing toxic diet culture. But then the next second she or in the same world, in the same universe, she owns a skinny diet company. OK, Meghan Markle talks down to people. Meanwhile, Bethany is screaming on her reality show, telling people who are you know signed up to try to work for her that they're like losers. And why are you crying and all that stuff like she talked down to everybody on that show. It just seems very much like, get off my scent, you know? Like, this is my, th I talk down to everybody. You were up, you're up there. Like, she's on, the, she's in the Hamptons on Mount Olympus and everyone else is below her, but she doesn't want people to think that because that's not cool or, or trendy right now. Megan's platform is kind of hypocritical. I want to separate myself from the royal family. I was treated horribly subtle, I'm going to do these in these hidden messages, this Morse code to the public that's not going to directly say what I'm saying, but everybody in the royal family and in Great Britain understands exactly what I'm saying. So like, it, like at least say it. Rip the band-aid off. Say they're a bunch of they're uptight, white, racist, white supremacist Come out, say it or don't, but like these nuanced, I want my privacy, but I want a, 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 a podcast. I want my privacy, but I want a Netflix special. B's advice, she thinks Meghan should take a cue from another famous princess. Let it go, let it go. Oh my God, these shows are so bad. Change in the future. And Hold on, let's get her last opinions. Create change in the future Mind. and leave that family behind because it's only creating more drama for your husband. But Bethany's opinion on Meghan is really nothing new. 
Back in 2021, after Meghan and Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, the former Real Housewives star didn't have much sympathy for Meg's experience, tweeting, Cry me a river, the plight of being a game show host, fairly unknown actress, to suffering in a palace with tiaras and seven-figure weddings for two whole years, to being a household name with Oprah on speed dial, fetching seven million for interviews, and hundreds of millions in media deals, alongside a thinking face emoji. As someone we saw who is obsessed as Bethany with money and making money, it's so funny again to be like, wow, Oh, you had zillions of dollars, so you know none of your emotions matter. That's kind of rich and, and interesting that that's her perspective. Like, oh, well, you had money, so you should never complain. And I think that's how she might think about things. Like, well, if you have money, then there's nothing to be you know upset about. Or if you're you know if once you have money, like that's the key to everything. It's like, okay, Bethany. Oh, what happened? Like, we watched the tell-all. It's not like a shock that we're reading now that the. It was a chilly reception. They weren't standing on the main balcony. They weren't sitting in the front row. No, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you aired your dirty laundry of the most public family on the planet Earth. Megan has yet to respond to Bethany's comment. Yeah, I don't think she will, because who gives a fuck? <laughs> Bethany Frankel's opinion. The only people who cares are Today Show and the CBS Morning News <laughs> and Page Six. Um, okay, this is Kim Kardashian. So similar, similar thing that we just saw. But again, hypocrisy is real. We're back to ET, our favorite. We like we love Yahoo News around here and ET. <laughs> Bethany Frankel is going after the Kardashians once again. And this is from August 2022, so two months ago. Here she goes. After recently slamming Kim's impractical skincare line. And for her latest rant, Bethany took the Kardashian generous to task on the latest episode of her podcast, Just Be, with Bethany Frankel assuring listeners she's not jealous of the fam, while also explaining why she thinks we all just need a Kardashian intermission. <laughs> Here's the thing we get it, we paid for it. We bought the lips, we bought the plane, we bought the boats, we bought the trips, we bought the cars, we bought the life, we bought it all. We know you're showing us the receipts for our purchases. We know. We need a palate cleanser. We need a break. We just, we're, we're like, we're like vomiting on it. And it just, the week of the Pete and Kim breakup was just like, leave us alone. We, we know. We live through the you and Kanye. Like, we need a break. Can we have one break? Do we just want an intermission? We're the ones putting the money on the floor. They're grabbing every, they're grabbing every dollar. Why wouldn't they? Yeah, but that's what you also do. That's the thing. It's like, who are you to say? Like, you wish you could be them. <laughs> that's the problem. I don't know. I just, I just find it like so hypocritical. It's us and the media. We're handing them every dollar and we get it. You got it. You did it. You won. You played the fame game, the money game, the business game, the branding game. You won. I've been nervous. I've been nervous to say it. Several reasons why. Number one, I know someone in common with them. I can't like let that be in the way. I've met them. Kim's nice. Chris is fine. <laughs> Courtney's been fine. They're not paying my rent. Like it's too much. And I honestly have been afraid to say it. And it's not because Chris is the mafia. I think it's the way, it's just, this is like her roundabout way to be cool, to also say I've met the Kardashians without being a fangirl. <laughs> I hate them, but I met them and they were nice. <laughs> And controls a lot of the media because I don't give a f cancel me. I, I check my balance. I'm okay. What are we saying to our kids? What is the message? Take it all. Be as rich as possible. Filter as much as possible. Be as fake as much as possible. Brag as much as possible. Be self-involved and take pictures of yourself that make you look in the best light possible. Bethany, that's you. You do all of those things and you have a child that's like of an impressionable age. What do you think she looks, sees? Like her daughter's in her TikTok sometimes. So it's like, you're doing the same exact thing. I don't disagree with what she's saying about the Kardashians. It's just like coming from her, it loses the relevance of the conversation completely. Cause it's like, okay, one person trying to get rich off of another person. Like <sighs> as much as possible, look like nothing like what you actually look like, like a shell of your former self as much as possible. Get plastic surgery and lie about it as much as possible. Like what the f 
are we doing? Then do a charity donation to like rinse it over as much as possible. Like what are we doing? See that thing, that part too. I think that's what she's doing with all of her stuff. With all her skinny girl, like toxic diet culture, whatever stuff. Trying to make, you know... I don't know. She's got all these trademarks and things. And that was a part, a point of contention with the cease and desist because she owns certain things. She calls all these like um, makeup to, after the tutorial show. She called one of the Kardashians boxes a scam. It's a scam. And then someone looked it up and found out that she owns the copyright or the trademark for it's a scam. And then so people were like, oh, this is all to like lead up to some big launch, you know, some big it's a scam makeup line or something. But then Bethany clapped back and we'll we'll watch that part. I, I'm kind of annoyed. I'm bored of, of all of this, like talking about the Kardashian stuff. But basically she did a she did a um, a beauty review of, of like the skincare or Kylie's box, whatever. We'll find, I have it, I have it saved. We can watch it. Let's talk about the TikTok drama. That, that's just a good understanding of like, okay, she is rich. She believes, you know, she has definitely promoted a lot of people's diet culture. My, thank you. Welcome to the membership. More emojis are coming because now we should have enough or close to enough to add more. But then we need more, more, more. We need more. I'm becoming Bethany. Bethany.